Hello, I'm Vivian McKinder and welcome to Simplicity. Welcome to Section 3, Master the Skill and the Message. In this module, you gain the technique and skills to apply Simplicity hair extensions to your client, as well as our unique Simplicity graphs. From placement and application to removal, Simplicity extensions are designed to be fast and easy with maximum artistic options in terms of color, length and texture. Application Technique Recommended Tools for Application Clarifying Shampoo Blow dryer, round brush and or flat iron, tail comb, sectioning clips and loop brush or wide tooth comb. Before you begin, before applying Simplicity hair extensions, make sure your client's hair is clean and free of residue. Shampoo your client with a clarifying shampoo. Rinse and repeat two to three times. Do not condition as you want to avoid any residue on the natural hair shaft that may interfere with the adherence of the Simplicity adhesive. Depending on your client's current cut, it may be helpful to add texture or layers prior to the application. See that your client has enough length and density in the crown area. This will ensure that their natural hair covers all attachment sites. It is recommended that you smooth the hair with a blow dryer and round brush and or flat iron prior to application as this will create cleaner parts and prevent stray hairs from catching in the attachment sites. Remember to avoid any hair product while smoothing. Simplicity hair extensions must be applied to dry, clean, product-free hair. Basic placement is as easy as one, two, three. Complete! Begin your application at the back of the head, away from the hairline. Section your client's natural hair to create a clean, horizontal parting. Step 1. Now that you're ready to apply the extension to your model, let's rejoin Vivian McKinder. So what we're going to do now is talk about the application, our colour choices, and uh, it's very, very exciting because we've got some lovely tones to play with. So, Julia, what do you think about this colour combination? I mean, I love the combination of the warm golden blondes, a little bit darker and a little bit lighter. I think combining the two is going to be a great look. Excellent. So let's get into the application. Extremely important to stay away from the edge here and to be mindful of, as to how low you go down. You want the client to have some versatility and you also want to hide the extensions. Remove the tape backing from the center section of the extension and place weft 1 8 to 1 quarter inch below part line. Press gently to ensure maximum hold. Picking up too much hair will interfere with the Simplicity Extension's bonding process and may cause premature release of the extension. Note: Be careful not to touch or handle the Simplicity adhesive as this can prevent maximum bonding. Step 2. Flip hair up and over the top of the part line. Make sure to remove any stray hair from the adhesive site. Any stray hair caught in the adhesive can cause pulling and discomfort. Note that just the right amount of hair has been secured to the comfort grip strip. I like to clip it into place. Mm, very important. Because what you're being careful of right now is making sure that there are no stray wispy hairs that are being caught and snagging on those, so it's yeah. important. Step three. Remove the tape backing from the left. Secure wing and fold onto the middle section. Secure the strip's placement by lightly pinching the ends of the strip. Press gently and repeat with the right section. Just lay it very gently across the top. And I'm gonna do the same with the other side. And what is also important, you're pressing 
you have control, but it's lightly. You're not applying too much pressure. No, you don't want to apply too much pressure um, because we want to make sure and get that adhesive to adhesive bond. And if there's too much hair, we're not going to get that. Complete by returning hair to its natural position. Press firmly three times. Pinch end of the strip to secure bond. Note, follow directions carefully regarding when to press gently and when to press firmly. Pressing too firmly or too gently in the wrong order will compromise the bond and reduce the length of wear for your client. Remember that only a small section of your client's natural hair is needed to secure simplicity extensions. This is a really classic case of you've got to work with some discipline and not try and rush the process because it will affect the end result. Extension placement. Beautiful. So now we have to see whether we want to now put a blonde tone over here or whether we want to do another layer of depth. And of course, the shadow will give the hair more dimension. Mm -hmm. I'm almost feeling like another layer of depth. Yeah. What do you think? I think that would be great. Okay, so let's go into the next section. As in all things, you've got to map it out, but step back, use your mirrors, look at the big picture, and make sure that it's looking good, not only close up, but further away. Place your second piece just above the first, making sure to leave a space of free natural hair between each Simplicity hair extension and the same application to the to this section. It's just going to be a quarter of an inch to eighth of an inch from the parting. And that's really important because you don't want it so close to the scalp that there is not some movement there. Mm -hmm. And notice how you're pressing nicely but you're not overdoing. Very gently. Yes. Yeah. And you can just take the end, lift it up, and you'll see that her hair is all attached. Really that's all you need, just a small slice. Yes. And that's the part that makes it so comfortable, isn't it? When you go into this next section, if you could release it down, and let's take a look to see if we'd like to now move into the blonde, uh, because that's a lovely combination. This is what's exciting too. You may have clients um, that really enjoy the, the length and the fullness of their hair, but they want some color accents. Uh, so this is a, a really great alternative to a client who may not be interested in uh, chemically treating their hair. Uh, think about it from a color palette point of view. Um, always remember that part of any service like this, we already spoke a bit about the importance of the consultation, the importance of home care, Make sure that you're, you really are giving excellent customer service so that the, the, the product's worn with full knowledge and you have a very well-informed client. And I think there you'll be very successful. Follow steps one through three as you continue placing pieces up the back of your client's head and into the crown. Depending on your client's needs, you may end up placing more or less pieces of your desired width. Be sure to leave at least one inch of natural hair around your client's hairline. This free natural hair will cover the attachment sites if the hair is styled in a high ponytail or updo. Correct side placement is very important. In order to avoid any attachment sites from showing, it is recommended that you never place Simplicity hair extensions near the temples. An easy method of finding the correct side placement is to use your client's ear as a guide. For example, your first piece should be placed 2 inches above the top of the ear and 2 inches in from the temples. This will ensure that all attachment sites are hidden when the hair is styled in a high ponytail or updo. Once you have determined the correct side placement in relation to your client's ear, you can begin the application. Select your desired width and follow steps 1 through 3 to correctly attach the extensions. Place your second piece just above the first. 
making sure to leave a space of free natural hair between each Simplicity hair extension. Depending on the needs of your client, you may end up placing more or less pieces along each side. Completing the look. Once you have placed the desired number of pieces, gently brush through each Simplicity hair extension with the Simplicity loop brush or a wide tooth comb. It is then recommended that the Simplicity extensions relax into the hair for about 10 to 15 minutes before they are cut and styled. Avoid wetting the attachment sites when cutting and make sure to never touch them with hot tools while styling. Feel free to use the styling tools of your choice, keeping in mind that the Simplicity hair has been processed and once washed, will expand and become slightly fuller. Cutting hair extensions. To truly complete your client's simplicity transformation, the perfect cut and style is needed to blend the extensions into your client's hair naturally. This is especially important for longer extensions. Note, if the hair is just a little bit too long and coupled with a blunt cut, the result may appear unnatural. There are two major factors to consider before cutting extensions the amount of extensions you have and if this allows for layering, and the expected end result as many people may or may not want to layer. A great look can quickly fall apart if you cut the extensions too much and you don't have enough weight. You need to leave the appropriate length and make sure the client's hairstyle is focused on balance, proportion and shape. This first tier certification focuses on getting you started as quickly as possible. We review more advanced cutting and styling techniques using Simplicity Extensions in our next course. We do want to give you two specific cutting techniques that you can employ immediately to blend Simplicity Extensions into your client's natural hair in seamless layers. Deep Point Cutting This technique removes bulk from the ends of the hair so that the layers and graduation blend better, creating great movement. It results in reduced weight softer ends and greater texture. Note, always remember to never cut straight lines. Leaving an unfinished cut on each extension makes them look blunt and very unnatural. Deep point cutting avoids this. Step 1. Pick up 1 inch sections and comb the hair straight out from the head. Step 2. Hold hair 2-3 to three inches from the ends so that the hair sticks out vertically from your fingers. If you hold the hair too far from the ends, it will fall over and be difficult to cut. Step 3. Position scissors perpendicular to your fingers so that they are parallel with the hair. Step 4. Open and close scissors, then remove. You may not see a lot of hair removed with each cut. This technique is used more for texture than removal of length. Step 5. Remove more hair with each cut by positioning the scissors at a slight angle. The more severe the angle, the more hair will be removed with each cut. Step 6. Repeat steps 3 and 4 until desired amount of hair is removed. Razor cutting. This technique is particularly effective on straight, dense hair and when performed correctly results in a softer, lighter finish. Note: If your client's hair is exceptionally fine or curly, razor cutting may remove too much weight leaving the hair fly away and frizzy. Step 1. Hold the razor lightly. Grasp the hair between the index and middle fingers of your left hand or your right hand if you're left-handed. Elevate the hair to about a 45 degree angle with your fingers parallel to your client's head and glide the razor, also held at a 45 degree angle, in short, shallow movements down the hair shaft following your fingers. Note: The higher up the shaft you begin, the more weight you will remove. 
for finer hair or to maintain as much length as possible, razor cutting should be limited to the last few inches of the hair shaft. Care should be taken not to remove too much hair from the temples and bangs and razoring in the top of the head should be limited to the ends unless additional volume and texture in the crown is desired. Craft application. Adding stunning hair extensions is one thing, but blending and styling them into bangs or fringes into natural looking layers takes a true artist. Simplicity graft hair extensions make the process easier than ever before. About a quarter of the density of standard Simplicity extensions, Simplicity grafts owe their efficacy to revolutionary adhesive technology and scalloped edges. Two innovations which make hair graft extensions fasten securely and blend seamlessly from the hairline back to the crown, in turn mimicking gorgeous growth. These extensions open up so many styling opportunities for you, the artist, and for your client. After all, each hair graft is hand knotted to offer the option of luxurious lift at the crown or a flattering side sweep. Easy to apply, simplicity grafts can be added on a lunch break. One hour of work and your client has a voluminous new style. Plus, the gentle adhesive fasteners eliminate weaves, clamps and chemicals from extension application, which means a once wince-worthy process is now nothing but pleasant. Graft application is the perfect method to add volume to the top of the head. Unlike traditional extensions, simplicity grafts are hand-tied in a V-shape to create a more voluminous look versus a traditional extension, which lies flat. Graphs give clients more options when traditional extensions don't complete the look. When we're looking here at our extension, this has more density. And then when we're looking at our graft, which you would have seen in some of the other tutorials, this one here, tell me about this, Julia. Uh, well, what makes the graphs a little bit different is that as you can see they're scalloped um, and that's so that they blend in with your natural hair at the crown area or at the temples where there might be less density so they blend in really well and also they're a little bit less hair so it's a more natural look for those thinner areas on your head excellent simplicity graft extensions are ideal for adding bangs or fringes adding bangs is a great way to change your hairstyle without commitment See the many different types of bangs available, including short, choppy, long, regular, fringes and side swept. Fringes are less dense and lighter weight. Stylist tips, grafts should be mapped the same way you would traditional extensions. Since grafts are usually applied to the top of the head, make sure hair is extra clean and free of product. Depending on the client's scalp, this may require multiple shampoos. So it's the same application process. You just want to peel from the center section and apply quarter of an inch to eighth of an inch from the scalp. Removal. With many competitive extensions on the market, 75% of damage to hair from extensions comes from removal. Thankfully, with Simplicity Extensions, our unique adhesive allows for removal in just a few steps, damage free. Recommended tools for removal, tail comb, sectioning clips, Simplicity Loop Brush or Wide Tooth Comb, Simplicity Remover, Fine Tooth Comb and Clarifying Shampoo. Prior to removal, when retaping is planned, it is recommended that you wash and condition your client's hair with the extension still attached. Once cleansed and conditioned, dry and smooth the extensions prior to removal. 
This will render the extensions more manageable and ensure their readiness for reapplication at your client's next application appointment. Removal is as easy as one, two, three. Complete! Begin removal at the back of the head. Comb through the client's hair using the Simplicity Loop Brush or a wide tooth comb and section out your first attachment site. Step 1. Using the end of your tail comb, begin to pry open the attachment in three different spots. Step 2. Once you have created three openings, spray a small amount of Simplicity Remover into each opening. Note, you must spray Simplicity Remover directly inside the attachment to break down the adhesive bond. Step 3. Let the remover sit for 30 to 60 seconds, then softly rub the remover around the attachment site and begin to pull in a downward motion. Complete by adding sufficient Simplicity Remover to open the attachment. Gently pull the detached piece down the natural hair until it slips off completely. Stylist Tips When removing Simplicity hair extensions, focus on the inside of the attachment sites and try to avoid getting excess remover on your client's scalp. Be aware that your client's hair is naturally shed over time and it is common that some of this naturally shed hair may adhere to the attachment site. Carefully remove any hair or excess residue with Simplicity Remover and a fine tooth comb. So Marlene, you've now had your transformation. How yes. do you feel? I feel amazing. I can't believe it. It's I've never had any extensions that never that hurt, that don't hurt. Um, usually when hairstylists put extensions in, they tweak hair and after a while you get a headache and you have to um, take a Tylenol, but these are light and airy and you, I, I don't feel anything. It's really amazing. Wow, so there's no discomfort? No discomfort whatsoever. So Even when, when she put it in, there was nothing. When you brush through the hair, it doesn't. you don't feel anything. And you can really move your head around and it doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. And um, how do you feel having such long hair? If, I feel amazing. I feel like an angel princess. I feel like Rapunzel. It's, it's like unreal. It's really beautiful. And what about the color combination? Are you happy with the colors that we chose? Absolutely. I think it's perfect to, to, uh, that you brought some depth into the lower parts. And then, you know, the, the lighter hair goes on top. I think it gives it a beautiful dimension, especially in pictures, and, uh, but in, in real life as well. So we're going to play with your hair again on set and give yes. you a beautiful, elegant look for your evening wear. Yeah, so I'm you're excited. Ready for that? Absolutely. <laughs>